Hi everyone, this is Nathan with St. Mary's Life Light, and I'm going to be going over how to exchange the King LTD using a gum bougie to an endotracheal tube. Indications for uh, needing to change out the King LTD into an endotracheal tube is if the patient would have um, a lot of major facial trauma and obviously you couldn't get the patient intubated um, normally you go to your secondary device, which would be your King LTD. And once you place that, there's just been a lot of blood going in the oropharynx, and you're not getting good lung compliance. You're not hearing good lung sounds even after multiple adjustments with the, the King. So you feel like the patient's airway needs to be secured uh, via endotracheal tube. So what um, the nice thing about the King LTD is uh, using the gum bougie, you would make sure uh, your gum bougie is uh, lubricated um, so it can be inserted. And your, your goal is to this port right here, this distal port, you're going to have your gum bougie come through there. And um, if, if everything works out like it should, it's going to go into the trachea and you'll be able to exchange that out. I have uh, Fred the Head here already um, with the gum bougie and the King LTD ready to go. So I made sure I lubricated it. I insert, I feel the tracheal rings. That's the nice thing about the gum bougie. If you, um, you can feel those tracheal rings once you get in the trachea. So you always make sure once you have, feel like you're in the trachea, make sure you um, always hold onto your gum bougie. Slide your King out. Feed your endotracheal tube onto the gum bougie. I've got to the proper depth. Inflate my cuff. And then you always make sure you use your uh, secondary airway confirmation with uh, entitled capnometry and you simply bag the patient and we have good lung sounds. Always make sure you listen, secure the tube um, as always. So I hope this was helpful with um, showing how we can switch out the King LTD into an endotracheal tube successfully. Thank you very much.